All right, welcome back to the show. My favorite segment of the week, sports stories. Being a sports fanatic myself, I don't even hold a candle to this gentleman. And not only that, but another great story coming out of today. Tom Abels, you served in World War II. You are probably the biggest fan of Aztec football, having seen now 783 football games. You have a game ball here uh, with a great story attached to it. Thank you for coming on the show. Glad to be here. And thank you for your service. Thank you. So your service uh, leads back to World War II, which is actually what led to the story of the football you have in your hand when right. you're at uh, a, the game was in Alabama. Is that right? Well, the thing, I'll tell you the story quickly. If you date all the way back to August 1946, I was still in the Navy, still on the battleship Alabama BB-60 in the engine room. A month later, I was out of the Navy, a freshman at San Diego State, and saw my first Aztec football game. You move ahead to last fall, 773 games later, and that morning, because in Mobile, Alabama, where we were playing football, my battleship is now a naval museum, much as the Midway is here. So I spent the day back down in my engine room and then back up and that night at the football game. So. The same day that I visited my ship after all those years, I also saw my 783rd game at that time. No, 774th game. 774 games. So I really want to just reiterate that to the audience because it's a yeah. fascinating story. You served on the ship. Up, by the end of the year, it went up to 783. So, so you served on the ship in World War II, and now that ship has become a museum. Oh, yeah. In between that time, you've been to 700-plus, almost 800 games, and you were honored in Alabama at that game and were able to actually go back on the ship, which is now a museum. Tell us about how the crowd received uh, that <laughs> honor. It was really kind of funny because they had done a feature when I was on the ship. And I had on my Aztec gear, but I had my Alabama cap on. And they did this feature of the fact that the Alabama, the ship, means a lot to them. But the fact that I was such a longtime fan meant a lot. I actually got a standing ovation from the enemy crowd. The, the, enemy, <laughs> the enemy crowd. Now, you're, you're still very active. You're still going to the games. Your oh, yeah. wife and you have been married for 69 years. You're an author. Tell us about your book. Well, the book, I wrote the book basically because I felt I wanted to put in writing a history of Aztec football from the end of the war, really. And because I had seen all the games, I felt I had a perspective that was worth putting in writing. We've sold it well, but I didn't write it to be a bestseller. I wrote it really to be historical. We have now actually, this is the third edition of it right now, and we had not planned to do another one until the great end to last season. And now my son Ken and I are working on the next edition to talk about all the historical significance of that especially that bowl game in Las Vegas where we just humiliated Houston. and they, they had come off two big wins. They were nationally ranked. And after a slow start, we just blew them out of there, 34 to 10. And what made it doubly important was the significance of D.J. Pumphrey in that game, gaining 105 yards, I think it was, which put him at the all-time high for rushing yards in a career in NC2A history. So. And this is something you saw in person. Yeah. Wow, and you've seen a lot in person. Yeah. So the, the book is going to document this history oh, yeah. of Aztec football. Yep. And I just want to remind our audience, it's not just a history that Tom has put together by pulling together different stories. You've actually experienced, let's see if I could do my math here, 70, <laughs> 70 years, close to 70 years worth of these games. Share with us uh, one of your favorite stories. Oh, gosh. Well, one that's kind of fun was back uh, years ago when we had, Art Preston was a good running back. And uh, I learned I, my memory is pretty good because I remembered we were playing Fresno State. And we were down by a touchdown. We had one play left before the clock ran out. And we had a little quarterback named Jesse Thompson. And I figured, well, we're going to throw a pass for a touchdown. Instead, he throws a little swing pass out to Art. And I'm saying, why did you do that? And Art Preston proceeded to shake off about 20 tackles <laughs> and ran about 100 yards back and forth for the tying touchdown. 
and I always said it started on the 49-yard line. And I thought for the book I should double check. So I went back and followed the records. They said 48-yard line. Oh, so you messed it up. My memory is pretty bad, I guess. Well, that's what <laughs> editors are for, right? Yeah. And I don't know how many stories you want me to tell, but the other great memory was the one here when we played North Dakota State. They were the number one. We were still a small college team then. And they were number one in the country. And they were heavily favored. That's the biggest crowd to ever see a game at Balboa Stadium. Bigger than when the Chargers played for the pro championship wow. that one year. And we, they say we turned away minimum 5,000 people. Stadium was overflowing. And we were leading uh, 29 to nothing, I think it was. And they were starting to move. There's a little quarterback named Hagen. And they started moving. And he threw this flat pass that looked like it might be a touchdown. And Bobby Jones, the defensive back of ours, cut in front, went the length of the field for the crowning touchdown. You talk about <laughs> frosting on the cake. That was it. We won 36 to nothing. Tom, well, I really appreciate you coming on the show, sharing some stories with us. I hope uh, you can pick up a copy of the book if you want to see a history of Aztec football as documented by a man who's been on to 783 games and going strong. Thank you again very much for your service. We really Thank appreciate you. you. Glad to be here. More of the American Dream coming up next.